What's up guys, Matt from The Maths Hero here, back again with a new video. Today we are looking at five tips to always use when you are doing column addition. Let's go. Okay, tip number one, your column titles. Don't just settle for putting your numbers and your equals lines across. Put your column titles in, it will keep things in the correct columns. You know when you're adding up your units, you have to put your units answer in the right column and it's all nice and neatly presented for you. It will avoid making small mistakes. Tip number one, column titles. Tip number two, and if you are at school, you will hear this all the time, one number, one square. The trick to maths is being organized, being neat and organized. The more organized you are, the less likely you are to make those small mistakes. So put one number in one box you will notice a big difference in your presentation and you will notice a big difference in the small mistakes you are now avoiding. Tip number two, one box, one number. Tip number three, my personal favorite, we're gonna bring this bar, this little line, we're gonna bring it down, okay? That now creates a spare row for anything we are bridging. If we are now regrouping into the next column, we have got a proper row to put that number, not just squeezing it above the line, we have got its own actual row. Therefore, it will look neat, it will look like a number, and you will not forget it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people forget that number that they've bridged over or they've regrouped over from the previous answer, okay? Tip number three, bring the bar down. Tip number four, it's not really a tip, this is an essential. We always start from our smallest value, not necessarily always our units. If we have got decimals, we will have smaller values down on the, on the place value chart. So we always learn to start from our smallest value. That way, like in this question, if I have nine add five, giving me 14, which is a 10 and a four, I can still move my 10 into my tens column because I haven't done that question yet. If I worked the other way and had done my tens, I'd get myself pretty confused when I end up with a 14 there at the end, okay? So tip number four, always start in our smallest value. Tip number five, last tip, we must always finish our question. You don't just leave your answer here in the answer bro. Put your question, put your answer back up with the question to complete your number sentence. Bing bang bosh, you've now done your perfect column addition. Okay, well done, five tips, remember them. Okay guys, let's just recap those. Tip number one, put your column titles in. They are really important. They will help you avoid those small mistakes. Tip number two, one box, one number. Tip number three, bring that bar down. This is my favorite tip. This creates a brand new row for you so that when you're bridging or when you're regrouping your numbers, you've got an actual space for your numbers. Tip number four, always work from your smallest value. Might not always be units. Last tip, tip number five, finish your question, bring your answer up to your number sentence to complete your work. Guys, these are my five tips for completing successfully column addition. If you've got any other tips, please give us a comment in our comment section. It'll help us all. And that everyone can check out each other's comments and get even more tips to be even more successful. That would be really helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell to get reminders. We have got regular videos coming every few days. Thanks very much. See you on another video.